What's good, everybody, man? It's your boy, Kenny Chow. We back with another video, man. If you're new, tell you what to do. Be sure to go click that subscribe button right now, man. Happy Thursday. You guys know the Dodgers play today. Hopefully, they take home the win against the Giants. That'll be lit. But honestly, if the Giants win today, too, man, um, honestly, I can't even be that upset because they both had a phenomenal record this year, bro. So, we're going to see who wins. Comment down below who y'all think is going to win. But... So the main topic of the video, man, we got Devontae Friga talks about beef and when he'll play pro basketball, man. Y'all know what we here for. We here for the the goods, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, but yeah, man, uh, we're going to see what this is about. Shout out to the Akeem Dream, uh, Akeem the Dream, sorry. Their channel link is in the description down below. And also shout out to Friga for always just showing love to man, to all the small content creators. He's been doing that forever, dog. And uh, yeah, man, he's a big motivation. Let's get straight to the video. I really don't want to spend. And yeah, I'm not reacting to the whole video. You know what I'm saying? We're reacting to the, you know. Too much time on this, but yeah. it is, Nick is the topic of discussion. You right want to react to watch it. And link so we're not going to talk about what's going on with them. We're going to talk about a little bit of what's, what went on between you guys. All right. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you got the tissue box. Right? We're gonna have right, a I'm, I'm just allergic to bullshit. So Ooh, you know. Oh, oh, oh shit! No, I'm fucking <laughs> no. Um, I uh, I was I went on my first tour last year around this time. I left in September, and I started in Miami. Then I went to Orlando, and uh, for like a year straight, I was seeing these videos on my Instagram from Nick. Remember when he was doing the, all the sponsored posts on Instagram? Yeah. Um, like the Jump Hire programs? Yeah, the Jump Hire programs and shit. I would see him all the time. And, like, if you had, if you knew anything about basketball and looked at basketball online, then it probably came up on your feed somehow, somewhere. Yeah. Well, I did a run in Orlando, and he was at the run. Um, he didn't come out to see me or anything like that. One of his boys hit him up, and he was like, yo, someone's coming through. Uh, some YouTubers coming through to Orlando to hoop. And he pulled up, and we ran on the same team. That was the first time I ever met him. I didn't know who he was at the time. I could, I just remembered him for the way that he jumped when we were playing together. So I was like, are you Nick Briz? Because <laughs> somebody was calling you Nick on the court, and it's actually on YouTube. I got to find the video now that I'm talking about it. But it was uh first time we ever ran together. And I'll pull it up after I'm done telling the yeah. story. And uh, we had never talked after that, whatever. And then I moved back I moved back to Ohio for like four or five months. And uh, when I first moved back down to Florida yeah. in February, uh, Ball is Life was hitting me up. And um, Scotty over there, they were just starting the East Coast stuff. And... Him him and I popped out to this run together, and then we went to another run, and then we did a run together over here in Cape Coral, and everything seemed fine. A whole bunch of shit went down with Ball's life. Yeah. Um, they basically just wanted, like, nobody to post any videos except for just Ball's life. Yeah, just Ball's life. Like they, yeah. and so that's eventually what cut ties between you and Ball's life? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I was already established doing this exact same stuff. Yeah. You know, right. so why, why would I just go out there just because your ball is life? I don't. I just didn't care that much about who they were, what they were doing. I fuck with the people heavy though, like yeah. Scott, for you was taking over with those park takeovers, yeah. man. But I don't really like the organization too much. But I'm not gonna talk shit about it because I don't know what goes on behind the scenes. But that's just from my personal experience. Yeah. Nick had the same situation. He was like, "Fuck that! Like I have my own money. I'm not." I'm established already. I yeah. have four hundred, three, four hundred thousand followers on Instagram, and he was just starting his YouTube at the time, like heavy. Yeah, and so he kind of did the same thing. But the other guys weren't as established, so I think it was a smart move for them. Yeah, the other guys like just Austin got started. and Slim and everything. So, and Zach. So me and me and Nick went our our separate ways from Ball's life, still communicating a little bit, but then. Nick was hitting me up for a while, and he was like, yo, we should collab this summer a whole bunch. Like, we could fuck up the YouTube community. We were talking, and we were just like, yeah, let's do it. But neither one of us put our foot forward to make it happen. Right. And things kind of just fell apart slowly, and it, you like, this is a business, and 
businesses have competitors, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think that that's, that's all it really is. Like, Nick doesn't hate me. Like, I don't hate nah. Nick either. On the court, for sure. Like, if, if we're going at it, like, for sure, let's, like, fucking hate each other. We don't, like, we don't plan to hate each other, but, like, if we're on the court. It's competition. Yeah. And, and exactly. It's just competition. But, like, you guys know how Nick is online. He's smart. He's really smart with social media. I know Very what he's smart. doing. Yeah. He's not going to really break me, though, because I just, I mean, I just don't care. Like, I care about wiring my family money and investing into, like, homes and investing into companies. Like, solar I don't company? Care. Yeah. We'll get into that Yeah, later. for sure. I don't, I just don't care about the online stuff as much as people might think. So, I didn't really give it attention at first. Right. And then I was like, you know what? Let's feed into this. This could be a business move, whatever. And so I kind of, I said something back because he started talking about how I was like having security and having cops and this and that. <laughs> so I was like, yo, whatever. Like if, if all I got to do is make, if all I got to do to make you shut up is play, let's do it. Yeah. And then still nothing happened. And I'm, I didn't want to just go out and like poop against him if, this is one of the biggest things I was talking about in YouTube basketball. Why would I not try and capitalize off of it? Right. Yeah. You know, so Max. I hit up some of his people because it, it was genuinely hard to communicate at one time between him and I because, like, we were arguing. So I was like, fuck it. If the only way we can talk to each other is if we're in a group chat with management. <laughs> so I hit up the people that help with a lot of my brand deals. And uh, we were in a group chat and me and Nick were just fighting. Back and forth, like Damn. like really arguing. In front of the forth. brands. Yeah, in front Sheesh. of the brands and everything. Like oh, in, shit. in the group chats, the brands that are going to like set us up. And like it was real beef at the time, you know? And like not that it turned into fake beef, but you see like we actually met up in Miami. Yeah. We had to talk about that because House of Highlights hit me, Cash, Nick, and Cam Wilder up for a House of Highlights event, which will be dropped in October. And... Um, we had spoilers. No, we no, like, I'm not gonna give spoilers. <laughs> well, no, we f- we filmed like six episodes, and we had to be cool. You know, we had to. Yeah. They're they're paying us to be out there. This is a big brand. We want them to post our stuff. We had to be cool. <laughs> so, so <laughs> oh like, so God. I heard that he was doing a run out in Miami, whatever. Yeah, and popped out. Popped out. I'm crazy, sure you guys saw bro. the video. It was yeah, like 1.7 million views. Yeah, I mean, Nick hit, got Nick flagged. hits the algorithm like crazy. Dude's smart, but anyway, like, like I said, I don't hate, I don't hate Nick at all, and I know he doesn't hate me. It's yeah. just, a, it's just a YouTube competition thing, and it's really just an entertainment and a business. Like, I'm sure I could call him right now, and we could have a normal conversation, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe, yeah. maybe not. But all right, but does that touch on it a little bit? Yeah, that does. Yeah. A, a lot of it, actually, like five minutes worth. But right. <laughs> is there going to be a pay per view still happening after everything? Um. Well, I, I don't know. You don't know? That's the thing. With Devin, when I did the pay-per-view with Devin, like, we were able to communicate a little bit. Although we were beefing online, it was more of, like, basketball shit talk. Facts. We weren't, like, fuck, fuck you and everything. You yeah, know, yeah. Like, how me and Nick are. We're, like, you know, like, Nick's, Nick is straight up, like, fuck you and everything you're about. Fuck you and your runs. I'm better than you. I'm doing this a lot better. And, and I love it. You know, yeah. but it's so much harder to communicate that way. But like when we did it with Devin, it, we were able to communicate a little bit, but it was still like beef. Like, you know, let's get to the court and settle it. Like, yeah, um, it's been a lot. And honestly, that's kind of how me with, uh, you know, like uh, Cam, like me and Cam setting up a game three. Me and Marcellus potentially set up another 1v1. Me and Matt MK from Canada set up another 1v1. And, uh, yeah, man, that's why, I, honestly, I hope for fun, bro. Like, And, obviously, everyone has that competitive spirit on the court, which is fine. You know what I'm saying? But I never take anything past basketball. I just, I, I don't know. I, just, I don't take it that serious. Harder to try and talk and communicate a pay-per-view. And, I mean, I don't know. Just it, It's not worth the headache now that him and Chris are arguing. You yeah. Know? Uh, and Let's also, like. Out. Bro, I have so many people in my DMs from New York. I like I've I tried to hit I'm trying I'm literally I'm trying to call Nick today or text him or something and just be like I know we're not on the best terms, but just be safe when you go to New York because people are in my DMs like we're lighting we're gonna light the court up. 
if, oh. if he goes to New York. Yeah. Because, because people are cool with Chris. You know, people are cool with Chris out there. Damn. Because people are in my DMs like, we're lighting, we're going to light the court up. If, oh. if he goes to New York. Yeah. Oh, because because people crazy. are cool with Chris. You know, people are cool with Chris out there. And this is just, this is, this is a full disclaimer here. I, I don't. I, I don't know this is going to happen, but these are people from New York that are DMing me saying, tell your boy, like, not to come out here, not to fuck with what we have, because the basketball scene in New York for some people is all Oh, I yeah, got. it's 100%. It's different. all I got. Yeah, so, like, I was talking to Akeem about this in the car because I'm from New York. I'm from Queens. Yeah. So I kind of know He's how shit... Yeah, he... <laughs> don't get me... And ain't nobody going to light me up on no court, I'll tell you that. But <laughs> there is one thing that I would give Chris on a valid point. New York is different. Guys don't have problems taking you out from a liquor store and beat you up in the middle of the street while everybody's watching. They don't take shit for granted out there. It's the same thing like if you go to Chicago. You know what I mean? Those places are very hardcore. This is all they got. So not only are you coming on their turf to disrespect them, you know, and it's Nick. It's Nick. You know You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, there's that stereotype that people have of Nick, and it's Nick. So therefore, like, he... I think he does need to take a lot of precaution in this because, like I said, New York is a lot different, bro. They don't care. They'll just... It just sucks because... Never been to New York, but I am going this I, weekend, man. I've so. talked to <laughs> Nick before, before, especially before we were even, like, beefing online. Yeah. Like, before we, it was ever taken to the internet. And I know he, besides what, like, anybody can say, I know Nick is a good person. Yeah. And the persona that he plays online is not truly him to an extent like i know i know he's serious when he's like no fuck you i don't give a fuck about what you think yeah what you say but he's not always looking for a fight when he goes to these places but the entertainment value and the business side of it like he's not he's not gonna turn down the fact that he can title it what he does exactly so him going to new york he's only gonna bring out the the worst of the worst you know yeah. But. All right. So we actually touched on Nick a lot more than I was expecting. So I waited seven I'm months. Sure, so let's get into more of you. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, that's fine. I'm sure uh, people wanted to hear because I don't. I really haven't touched on it at all. Yeah. So this is ex exclusively where you can really only get my opinion on the whole thing going on inside right the dream. Yeah. Hey man. I mean. I mean, yeah. Shout out to Frieger for actually opening up about, uh, you know, the situation and everything. Um, you know, at the end of the day, everyone got to, you know, like, it's just, yeah, man, it's, it's a tough situation to touch up on. You can tell Frieger a little, like, uh, a little more calm talking about it, right? Uh, but at the end of the day, man, you know, Frieger doing his thing, doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? Everyone doing their thing, man, and, uh. Yeah, just like just wish safety for everybody, bro. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Obviously, uh, this this interview was a little uh, gave a little intel about some other things. Yeah, man. Other than that, be sure to go subscribe to the channel. We off this thing. Peace.